Today, we are going to be building one of the best rate XP farms that you can build while getting some insane rates like shown here in Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. This design will work on Windows, Switch, Mobile, PlayStation, and Xbox. To start this farm off, go ahead and find a pillager outpost like I found behind me here. And what you're going to want to do is go 150 blocks away from that pillager outpost, including any villages like over there, you want to be 150 blocks away from those. And when building this farm, you don't want to be close to any mountains, because otherwise your mobs might spawn on the mountains and not inside of your farm. So the first thing you want to do is come onto the surface here. Now I am actually in water, it doesn't have to be in water, but it does make your life easier, so you don't have to spawn proof the area around. And you can see in the top left corner, I'm at Y level 63. I'm going to want to go 100 blocks into the air to Y level 163. So as you can see, I'm now at Y level 163. And I'm going to want to find a way to get up and down to our farm here now. So the first thing you're going to want to figure out is do you have an elytra? Because if you do, you can fly up. If not, you're going to want to place some ladders or make a water elevator. Since I am over top of water, I can actually just hold down these ladders and fall all the way and it'll place them down. But just make sure you have some way to get up to the farm. You're now going to want to go to the top of your farm all the way back up and build a 4x4 platform at the top here. So I'm going to go 4 this way, I'm going to go 4 this way, and then I'm just going to connect this in. So now I have a 4x4 square just like this. Next, face this way into your farm. Place one piston right there. Turn and place one there, turn and place one there, and turn and place one right there. You then want to take redstone torches and place them on the sides of all of the pistons. Just like that. And then you want to take your observers and place them facing into the redstone torch so the arrow is facing into the piston. So I'm going to go around to all four of these and do the exact same thing. And then what you want to do is come up here and place a layer of blocks on top of all of it. After you've built this area at the top here, come underneath of the farm and break these four blocks. You then want to take a hopper, place it into one of the blocks, and then all of the other hoppers into that hopper there. So any items that go inside of these hoppers all lead into this one here, and then into this chest that we're going to place. And now you can expand this storage as far down as you want. Every single double chest that you place down here is another chest that the farm can use to fill up. And then what you want to do is take some hoppers and place them all the way down there. So as you're going to see, if some items do end up falling into these hoppers at the top, they all get funneled through all of this down into the bottom chest so you can have maximum storage for this farm. Now to actually get to these chests, you can kind of do it however you want. What I like to do is just make a nice little leaf platform somewhere down here so you can go up the ladder and just go directly onto that leaf platform to be able to access your chests. Now I'm going to build the actual chamber for this farm. What you want to do is build it 20 blocks into the air from this ground here. So since we're already two blocks high, you want to place 18 blocks in a ring all the way up. And so after you've done that, it should look something like this with that chamber going all the way up. You then want to come up to the top of the farm and on the opposite side of the leaves. So I'm going to do this side over here. Come to one of the sides and build out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come all the way to the other side and build out seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. You then want to connect these two inside of a box, just like this, and then you want to fill in the entire box. So it looks a little something just like this. Now come to the side where the hole is, and on the two walls that are touching the hole, you're going to want to make a wall on the blocks, just like this. And then on the two sides that aren't touching the hole, you're going to want to go one block out and build this wall all the way around, just like I'm doing right here. And now that you have this one high, you're going to want to take this entire wall up five more for a total of six. So after you finish building that, you should have this big box on the top of your farm just like so. Now really quickly, if you are enjoying this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you can download this world. It's the first link in the description. If you want to know the dimensions of anything, if you just don't feel like building it, whatever you want, download that farm below. With that out of the way, let's get back into the video. Once you've built that big box on the top of your farm here, you're going to want to take leaves and place them all the way, all the way around the rim of the edge here, sorry. And this is because you don't want the mobs to spawn on the farm, you want them to spawn inside of the farm, and this will make sure that none of them spawn on there. They all spawn in this area here. Now come to the opposite side of your hole, place one block and a block of water on top of that, and then take water and place it all the way down the opposite two walls. And as you should see, the water will be pushed perfectly and then stop right before the hole so all the mobs will get pushed down there. Now what you want to do is turn, go two blocks up, and on the third block, place a sign right there. Shift and place some more signs, and then place three like that, and one more here. 
So once you've placed them all, you should have a pattern that looks like this. Next, come over here, place down one sign there with one sign on it. And then on the edge of this sign, you wanna place a sign, turn it on the edge of this one, and you're kind of boxing in this area up here with signs. And this is so that we can actually contain the lava that kills the big ravengers, but we don't actually have to place blocks that they'll get caught on. They can go through the signs. So we're gonna place two more like this. So I'm gonna turn and place them like that. So now it looks something like this. And then we wanna place lava in this area up here. So now that I've got my lava, I'm gonna place one block in the corner right there and that'll spread filling all this area, but not actually falling through the signs. So it looks something just like so. All right, so now comes the fun part, which is making the villagers home. So what you wanna do is come to the front of the farm here and on the opposite corner of your box. So right here, I'm just gonna place some blocks going down this row. And now what you want to do is go up to this block here and count down six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, I'm going to place two blocks right there with a bed on top. Any color bed doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and box this bed around. And this is where a villager is actually going to sit. So now what you need to do is get a villager inside of here. And this can be a little bit challenging. But what I recommend doing is making a bubble elevator up maybe making a minecart or a boat with a, with a lead. Just get a villager inside of here. For the sake of the video, I am gonna spawn a villager inside. And then I'm gonna place these blocks up one more, making sure that this villager can't escape. Now you wanna wait until it turns nighttime outside, and this is so the villager decides that he wants to sleep. And what you can actually do is place four leaves inside of there, and then two leaves on top. And what'll happen is the villager will wake up and spawn inside of the leaves. He'll be fine since this is technically a transparent block. However, no mobs will be able to spawn inside of there on top of the bed, so the villager will be safe. So as you're gonna see, the villager stands up, he's inside of the leaves, but he's not dying. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fully box this guy in, and he is the key to this entire farm working. So make sure that step is built correctly. And now one more quick step for this farm. Go ahead and temporarily break into here, take your trident and throw it onto one of the pistons there. And then what you can actually do is take a lever, place it on a piston and flick it twice to turn the farm on. And as you're gonna see, this trident is gonna get pushed around. You can actually stand down here in AFK to get the XP from this. And what it's gonna do is when the mobs fall down, they will get automatically killed by that trident. And as you're gonna see, if I wanna stop the farm, I can just flick the lever and it all stops. And one more small step that I did forget to mention, any exposed block that you have like this is at risk of the mob spawning on it. So what you want to do is place a leaf on top of every single block that is not part of the farm. So that includes all of these on top of all of the redstone torches to make sure that no mobs spawn here and they do actually spawn inside of our farm up above. And don't forget to place them up here as well. And that's it. That's the entire farm built. I know it didn't take very long to build. It does take quite a few resources, but it's definitely worth it. So to use the farm now, what you're gonna wanna do is actually head over to your pillager outpost, kill one of the pillagers with a banner on top of his head, and then come back over here and stand anywhere in this area. And as you're gonna see, the raid is gonna start and the mobs are automatically gonna spawn into here. They're gonna fall down and they're gonna get killed by the trident below. So as you can see, I do now have the bad omen effect. And all I need to do is come up into my farm here and it'll automatically start and do the entire raid for you. Now, as you're gonna see when I do get close, my bad omen effect affects with the villager here. And as you're gonna see, the raid is gonna start. If it doesn't start, it might be because your game is on peaceful. So make sure it's not, but my raid is gonna be starting. And as you're gonna see soon, mobs are gonna start to spawn inside of this area up here. So as you can see, the mobs do spawn up at the top up here and the mobs will get pushed all the way down to this trident killer which is then automatically going to kill them and their drops are going to go below in that chest there now as you can see the xp was dropped so if you do want to collect the xp you can actually just come up here break one of these blocks and you'll collect all the xp through a hole just like this and all you have to do is stand here the mobs will fall and you'll automatically get all of the drops all of the xp and all of the items will go inside of these lower chests just like this as you can see, the items are already coming in, and look how much stuff we've gotten from just one start of a raid. Now, the reason we place this lava up here is so when these guys spawn, they don't actually fall down inside of that chamber. They just get burnt by the lava, and the next round of the raid starts. Every single round, all of the mobs spawn inside of here. It's the same thing over and over. I do believe this is the last round of this raid, so I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys die, and then I can show you just off of one max level raid how many items you can get from this farm. So as this last guy dies, we are gonna see that we are the hero of the village with that achievement there. 
Now what we can do is, as soon as we want to, we can go back down to that pillager outpost, re-get the ability, and then come back up here. So as you can see, I've been able to collect all of the XP that these mobs have dropped, and if I go into survival mode, what you're actually going to be able to see is I got 9 levels from one raid. So on top of all of the loot that you're going to get from this chest, you also get that XP. If I open up the chest, you can see, wow, okay, so look at all of this amazing loot. From one raid, we got 5 totems of undying. 45 emeralds, sharpness books, loyalty books, enchanted items, so much stuff from this farm. Guys, this is not a farm that you're going to want to miss out on. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you can download this exact world. It's the first link in the description. If you don't feel like building it or if you just want to make sure it works before you actually go ahead and build it, check that out. First link in the description. That's going to be all for today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blazed MC out.